Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you how to make a Shopify store. But before we start, make sure to follow the video till the end and subscribe to the channel. First, go to your Shopify store. The first thing we need to do is add a product. For that, go to apps from your left panel. Then, you need to go to all recommended apps. Scroll down and click the Shopify app store. Here, search for Zendrop. Once you get it, click Add App and install it. Now, open it and search for your product. I use Zendrop because it offers 10 to 15 day international shipping. Once you get your product, open it to see complete details. If you are satisfied, click on Add to My Products. Then, go to My Products from the left panel. Now here, click on these three dots given right next to your product. Select the option of Publish to My Story. Add all the necessary information about your product, including product name, tags, product type, and collection, and details given in other sections. Once you're done, click on Publish My Store. Then, click on Confirm and agree with the given terms and conditions. Meanwhile, let's work on the pages. Copy and paste the blueprint from the description. I got most of this from the Ecom King, so credit to him. Click Online Store, then Pages, and now add a new page. You can add different pages from here. Click on the navigation button from the left. Then, go to Main Menu. Next, from Menu Items, click Edit on Catalog and select the link to All Products. Select your specific product. Then, change the name from Catalog to Shop. Next, click on Add Menu Item. Add your FAQ page and move it up. Click on Save. Now, arrange the sequence of these pages. Now, go back and go to the footer menu. Delete the search option. Next, click on Add Menu Item. Add your FAQ and product and call it Shop. Then add your contact page and save. Next, add new menus called Information, Shipping and Delivery, Privacy Policy, Refunds and Returns, and Terms of Service. You can also add different sections depending on your store's requirements. Next, go to Themes from your left panel. Scroll down and add the Sense theme. Click Publish and Customize. For now, delete all the sections and hide the email sign-up. In the footer, click on Menu. Change the name to About and add your store name. Then, click on Quick Links and select the option of Add Block. Now, select the option of Menu. Now add your store name in this box. Now, let's change the color. Go to Theme Settings and then Colors. Now, select the color scheme that you want to apply. You can select different contrasts. Now, go back to the sections and click on the header. Here, I prefer the logo position middle. You can change it to your liking. Now, return to the Theme Settings again and hide the color. Then, open the typography and change the fonts for headings. Now, preview your store in all formats available. It will help you make necessary changes in your store. Next, you need to choose Payment Provider. Shopify integrates with various payment gateways, allowing you to accept payments from customers. Set up your preferred payment gateway in the Payment Provider section of your Shopify dashboard. Define your shipping rates and methods in the shipping section of your Shopify dashboard. You can set up flat rate shipping, carrier calculated shipping, or offer free shipping based on your preferences. Once you've set up your store, reviewed your settings, and added your products, you're ready to launch. Click on the Settings tab in your Shopify dashboard and select Plan and Permissions. Then, click on Choose a Plan and follow the prompts to select a paid plan and activate your store. After launching your store, focus on driving traffic and generating sales. Use digital marketing strategies such as social media marketing, email marketing, and search engine optimization or SEO to attract customers to your store. Regularly monitor your store's performance using Shopify's analytics tools. Track key metrics such as traffic, conversion rate, and sales to identify areas for improvement. Experiment with different marketing strategies and website optimizations to optimize your store for success. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.